Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're going to create an audio spectrum inside of After Effects, so perhaps you're doing a lyric video, a music video, I don't even know what you're doing, anything you can you know, sync music to, you're going to be able to do this with this one effect, and it's so easy to do that I don't have anything else to say about it. Anyway, if you're interested in learning how to audio react any object in After Effects, I made a tutorial a few months ago on just doing that so you can audio react you know, your own objects, certain shapes. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is, you know, we have background elements in here, and we even have a timeline right here that moves to the length of your song. So this tutorial is really awesome, but this one is focused directly on this audio spectrum. So let's go ahead and let's get started since it's very simple. So what you want to do once you have your composition ready, go to Layer, New, Solid, and we just call it Spectrum. And it doesn't matter what color it is, so just click OK. Great. Then we're going to go to Effect, Generate, Audio Spectrum. Now there's Audio Waveform, but the Spectrum effect has a lot more, well not a lot more, but it has a few more parameters into it, and I definitely think it's a lot better than the Waveform. And right now all we have are these dots going across, nothing is happening. Well, we need to add our song. That should be the first thing you do after you add the effect. And I don't have a song in here, so I'm not prepared for this video. So I have this copyright free song, so I don't get flagged here, but I'm going to bring this into our timeline, and if I hit LL on my keyboard, I'll bring up the Audio Waveform, and we can see where all of our audio reactions should take place. Now that we have our song in here, let's go back up to our effects. And where it says audio layer, we need to set this to our soundtrack. And now you'll see that if we scrub through here, we're getting the audio reaction based on what's happening in the song. And it's perfectly sync. No problem at all. Now, obviously, these are probably not big enough. We're going to get into that. But I want to turn this into an object real fast. So perhaps you're not going to want the straight line. You're going to want to turn it around an object. Well, you do have a path option right here. And what this path option allows you to do is create your own custom shape. So, you know, we, you can come here to the tools. You can do like a circle if you want or a polygon. I'm just going to use the pen tool and just to show you real quick. So I can just come here and just draw a random path, you know, whatever. That's crazy. And come here to the path and set this to mask one. And now it's revolved around the path. So that's really cool, right? Uh, however, I don't I want to create maybe a triangle. So I will focus on that. So come here, point, hold down shift, point across, and yeah, there's that. And I can always refine that a bit. And then I'll make sure I set this back to mask one. And one thing you might want to do is turn off the mask, where it says mask one to set it to none. This way nothing will be cut. And here is our you know triangle. If we need to make this mask a little bit bigger, select the mask one, hold down control T on your keyboard or command T on a Mac. And we can size this up a little bit, just hold down shift. You know, shift on your keyboard to make sure it doesn't distort. You can also hold down control to move it up from the middle. So this will become a little bit larger and that looks good. Now let's go ahead and start customizing this and making it look much better than what it is. So we still have that audio reaction around the path. So the frequency bands is something we want to increase. Let's turn off the mask real quick. And you see as we increase the frequency bands, we get this a little bit more smooth or you can keep the bands in there. It's really up to you. I'll keep it at this for now. And then we go to the maximum height, and this is going to say, hey, how large do you want the reaction to be? So, you know, we can get really crazy with it. And, you know, that's cool. And then we can bring down the thickness if it's too thick. I think three is fine. We can increase the softness, which has to do with how soft, you know, each of the lines are. 50% is fine. I think these two settings are good. And then we got the inside and outside color. You can customize what colors you want. So there's actually two colors here. We zoom in here. You can see that the interior of each line is blue and the exterior is pink. So you can customize both of these colors. But what I want to do is actually do hue interpolation here. So we can set our initial colors. So now we've created a very nice spectrum by using the hue interpolation. And when you have a path like this, make sure you check on blend overlapping colors. Because you can see right here that these are kind of giving you a weird overlap. You click this and it you know helps that a lot. So that looks good. You know, now we basically have this audio reaction that's reacting to our song. And for some reason, I cannot play my song as I preview this. So just bear with me that this is actually working. Um, now, we want to maybe customize this a little bit more. So we have a few other options down here. You, know, you can check on color symmetry, see how that works for you. I'm going to keep it on. And then we have display options. We can set this to analog lines, which is interesting. Digital dots, which is also very interesting as well. And we got the side options, which side do we want to be on according to the mask. You know, I think A and B is fine. And there's also duration averaging is pretty cool as well. So 
you know, you get some cool options in here that you can experiment with and see what works for you. So I went from a triangle to a circle on the mass path. And if we want to get rid of, say, all these lines, we can just increase the frequency bands. And now we just have a straight, uh, you know, circle like this. Perhaps we'll keep this at just side B. And maybe we can duplicate this layer by going up to Edit, Duplicate. And, you know, we can, of course, customize this a little bit more. Maybe we'll do analog lines. And we can, of course, you know, scale this layer down if we need to. And actually, probably what we'll do even better is we'll go to the mask and we'll hold down Control T on our keyboard. And we can just make this a little bit smaller. That's fine. And we're going to create some variations here. We can set this to side A if we wanted to. So it goes inward. And this will allow us to create multiple you know, styles of this so we can keep duplicating it. Maybe this one will be dots. And we'll change this one to side A and B. And we'll bring down the frequency bands. Really, you have the power to make this however you would like to make this. So you have full control over this audio spectrum and react your song however you would like. And be sure to check out our other tutorial on audio reacting any object if you need help further on this subject. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos. We post two to three After Effects tutorials every single week. And hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And always be creating.